Crew Chief, what is it? What does it do? How do you use it? Where do you find it? How do you install it? I'm, I'm going to show you in this video. Keep watching for that. Yes. That looks bad. Can you confirm that you're all right, please, Toby? So Crew Chief basically uh, is a tool that you can use in multiple different sims. Uh, it's a spotter as well as, uh, well, a crew chief. Uh, but simply, first things first, let's start on where you find it. I'll leave a link in the description as well, but it's basically on this website here. That's, that's not the one. So you find it on this website here. Really simple, just get my mouse back. Download crew chief for PC. Oops, if my mouse clicks. And it will just download the MSI file. Perfectly safe, uh, and then you just hit the install. This will pop up. It's fine. Everyone's installed it. Everyone knows it's secure. It is fine. Uh, more info, and then run anyway. Uh, if you want to be really safe, you can do a proper um, scan with any other antivirus or anything like that. Um, you don't have to. It is fine. I promise you. Uh, so you'll click run anyway. I already have it installed, so I'm not going to do it again. Um, but run through the steps, and it will install for you. And there we go, launch Crew Chief, and it should launch. There's a splash screen, they added that, that's recent. It's defaulted onto the wrong screen, but there we go. Right, so here we are, here is Crew Chief. Uh, I would zoom it in a bit more, but unfortunately it doesn't like doing it. When you first see the screen, you'll see uh, the sound pack updates, and the driver name, and the personalization updates. Uh, just click on all of those, they'll all download. So I'll do that now. So there's this one, it'll download and then it will probably tell me to restart the application. So I'll do that. You'll do that three or four times, uh, depending on how many times you have to update, and it keeps defaulting to the wrong screen, which is fine. So here is the application. Uh, one thing I'll suggest is turning messages and background volume down straight away. So we've got the file, which is just exit and help to get you started and help through with everything. Uh, you can read that and ignore me if you wish. I'm just gonna go with the really simple dumbed down version of it. So you have the main button, you've got the start application and the clear console. Clear console just clears the middle part, that's fine. Start application obviously starts when you uh, when you want, want it to. It'll turn on, it'll talk to you, all that stuff. Uh, moving over you can select the game, supported in a fair few games. Um, some of them are spotter only, like in the F1 games, you can only use the spotter. Uh, tell you if there's a car on your left or right, or uh, God forbid above. Um, you can select your name, well I don't know why I said it that way. You can select your name, um, so if you search it, you might be able to find your name. My name is luckily on there, but there is a whole, whole list. There's a lot of names in here. It's a small scroll for some reason, so it's best to just type your name and uh, see what, see if it's there or we'll find something similar. Um, and then into the chief voice, only one by default uh, at the moment. Don't know if they're going to add more. Hopefully, maybe. Actually, I do like Jim. Jim's nice. Um, and then your spotter. So that's the, literally the person that tells you who is on your left or right. I like Claire, nice voice, that's it, that's the only reason I picked her. Uh, and then into properties, now the properties page is where you can really start customising what Crew Chief can do. Um, I have mine set to iRacing at the moment so I can show you the iRacing specific controls. You can lean forward for this because I can't see because my screen is a little bit too far away and uh, this app doesn't scale, which is nice. So. Uh, you can talk to the crew chief as well and issue simple commands and some complicated ones. Uh, simple commands, I would say, are car in front or gap ahead, stuff like that, and he'll respond, which is really, really quite handy. Uh, instead of waiting for, waiting for you to cross the start finish line and or waiting for him to just tell you, you can ask him. A um, bunch of all this stuff like enable blue flag messages. Uh, da -da 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 breath and pause that's quite cool <laughs> just adds more realism uh, and then some other ones down here so here's one of my favorite ones uh, I am absolutely lazy with trying to figure out um, fueling and or when I need to fuel and how much so I get my spotter to do it for me so enable iRacing auto refueling when entering pit in race so basically it'll do the calculations of how much fuel you need and add it To me that is a massive, massive help because I have a job <laughs> so I can't sit there doing lots of practice laps uh, to, to figure it out. 
I could just ask someone how much fuel do I need for this race, but then it could just, because I could be a lap down or a lap ahead, uh, never a lap ahead, uh, I could be a lap down and uh, could need less fuel than what they've told me. My main man Jim here, he's going to sort it out for us. Another one of my favourite settings is the uh, you sweary messages. Uh, when you're being a little shit, Jim's going to tell you. Uh, so that was quite handy to, uh, you know, really get attacked by a virtual person. Um, until you get attacked by a real person in iRacing. Um, so there's that. Uh, I'm going to just let you have a look at what most of these settings. They're pretty much self-explanatory. Um, I'm just showing you a couple of the ones, just nitpicking some of them. Um, just so you can have get a, get a pretty good idea. But yeah, so you can uh, create new profiles, which you can use for um, different cars, different tracks, whatever. Uh, different games even. Um, but I've just used mine, my iRacing settings, because that's the one I use it on the most. Uh, other games are just kind of like if I'm playing on my own, kind of fancy, just a little bit of a help, helping hand with the spotter. Um, so there is that. So let's close that. Uh, I then have set up my available controllers to uh, whichever one I'm currently using. Uh, so you click on that, you click on the available actions, so talk to crew chief, and then you do that, and then you press the button with the assigned control, and that's how you set up a, a hotkey. So you can assign the control and you can uh, toggle everything, so you can toggle the spotter on and off, you can toggle uh, message volume and all this other stuff. There's a lot of options for you to choose from, and you can add it all to the wheel as well, um, which is really quite handy. Enough of me talking about it, let's use it. Let's have a look. So let's hope. So there's Jim, giving you some information. Let's do a couple of laps around here and just see what he tells us. So yeah, he didn't say anything around the lap, but I crashed into a wall when he asked me if I was alright. Do okay. I'm all good, Jim. There's a garage full of people turning blue here. I'm okay. Pardon? So yeah, not the best example, but uh, it showed off quite well. Well, not quite well. It showed off a little bit of what Jim can do and what he, what he can say. Um, it's quite handy as well, especially coming into the pits, telling you where your, where your mark is. I'll throw in a couple of clips of uh, the spotter being used in uh, a couple of pre my previous videos, uh, so you can get a rough idea of uh, how how it's supposed to sound and how it's supposed to work. So let's uh, let's run those clips now. Follow car number twenty-eight. Here we go. Floor it, green, green, green. On your left, clear left. On your left. Hold your line. Hold your line. Still there. Clear left. Car left. Clear left. Oh, left side. Clear left. Going out to Gosso. Ahead is now 1.8 seconds. Not that was at 48.28. Car left. Clear left. Clear left. Okay, Toby, uh, we'll fuel you to the end of the race. We've just been given a stop go penalty. I forgot where the line was. Outstanding penalty. Box in five, four, three, two, one. Yeah, that's on me. Hopefully, that gives you a rough idea of how Crew Chief works, uh, how to set it up, and what it's supposed to do. Obviously, there's a lot more you can do with it by just looking around in the settings. Um, and yeah, you can you can really get the most out of Crew Chief by uh, just having a look uh, and fiddling around with those settings. Uh, this was more of just like a quick showcase really more than a more than an in-depth guide but yeah if you like this video give it a like if you really like subscribe and click the notification bell with all that fun stuff and uh yeah i'll see you in the next video whenever that may be all right cheers guys